uh, you know, day after. You guys took the Warriors to overtime. I know you guys want to win that game, but how do you assess that game, and, and, and what are your thoughts? Um, like I said last night, you know, we played hard, uh, gave our chance, gave ourselves a chance to win the game. We just um, made a few mistakes that cost us at the end. And uh, that's a great team over there. But, um, you know, it would have been a lot better if we got the win. But there's some stuff that we did well, some stuff that we definitely need to work on. How's your eye? I'm all right. What were some of the things you thought you guys did well? Um, I think just our effort. You know, we came out, we took the challenge, I felt. And um, for the most part, I think we, we covered them, you know, decent. But um, like I said, a few mistakes that definitely cost us. What was it like for you on a personal level, your first time going up against Steph and KD and, and the Warriors? Uh, you got to be locked in the whole game because we saw every time we – you know, lost focus or slipped up, they scored every time. So um, you just got to be able to execute and um, just be ready for the challenge every time you play them. Luke said he knew it was coming because you've been lights out for a week or two shooting the basketball. Did you feel you were due for a night like that? Um, I mean, I shot the ball a lot better. Um, definitely was shooting it well in practice, you know, last week, this week. So um, I'm just going to continue staying in the gym and just keep working on it. You know, when you see a guy like B.I. going or, 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 or J.C. and it's late in games, do you feel as a point guard, I gotta go get the ball and start facilitating, or do you just kind of see wh wh where the game's playing? Like, how, how do you get more involved late in games? Um, I mean, when they're cooking like that, I try to get them the ball and you know put them in the, the place they like the most. You know, B obviously likes to get the ball to the top and drive right, and then JC loves pick and roll. So, just try to get them in the best position when they're going like that, and um, have them carry us to a win. How far along are you in knowing where each guy likes his passes? Uh, I pretty much know where everybody wants the ball. You know, get to uh, play with them all the time in practice and. We're already 20 games in now, so getting a good feel for it. Luke was saying that he doesn't want the fact that you guys lost this game to, to get you guys down in any way. What was kind of the, the vibe with that in here today? Um, like I said, we watched film, got to learn from it, but um, we can't get down. You know, we got some tough teams we played this weekend, and then, you know, December's going to be very tough. So we just got to keep moving forward and try to get better every time. What's been the challenge um, early in your career of taking the lessons from one game and, like, trying to continue that into the next game and, and yeah. not have slippage? What, like, what, what have you learned? You just have to, you have to learn fast and learn on the go pretty much. I mean, on to the next game every time. But every game's a new challenge, like I said, and every game, you know, you got to learn something else. But, um, you know, last night, definitely execution was a big part of everything. Has it surprised you how you can do something so well one night and then the very next night, just the same opportunities aren't there? And, and yeah, it could be flipped, you know, yeah. that easy. Um, like I said, every team's different, so you're not going to play the same every night, and um, every challenge is going to be different. Would you, you consider yourself more? Go ahead. Do you, do you rewatch the game before you, like, at, at night before you come back in here, or are you kind of getting away from that? I usually watch it right when we go back home, so I watch it that night. Oh, it's on our channel. That's good. We appreciate the yep. support. Mm -hmm. That's good. Do you just watch like the broadcast and what are you looking for? Can you um, just see, you know, where we messed up at. You know, what we did well, what we didn't. You know, what we um, didn't do as well. And um, we come back in the morning and watch it again with Luke. Has there been a game this season that you just sort of felt like just want to throw that one out and not watch it? Um, only game I didn't watch this year was the first Philly. Okay. Yeah. Would you consider yourself more like a scorer or a person who likes to get other people involved? Like, what comes more naturally to you? Um, definitely more of a facilitator. Uh, I think that's the job being a point guard to get everybody involved. So that's how I've been playing my whole life. Are you critical watching those games when you watch them back? Um, and no one's around but you? It's just me and my man Demo. So yeah. um, definitely break it down, you know, us two. And just, like I said, you know, talk about it, see what we could have worked on. Are you comfortable at this point of if you see something that you want to share with the team, of bringing that to them when you're in a full team film session? Um. Yeah, I mean, I can speak up and film. You know, everybody has the freedom. Luke gives us all the freedom to say whatever's on our mind. So um, it's definitely an open in there, and everybody, you know, chips in. Is that, is this, as being one of the youngest guys in the, in the room, like, was that an adjustment to get comfortable doing that, even though Luke gives you that freedom? Um, it's definitely an adjustment. But you know, we have a very young team. You know, um, I just turned 20. You know, B, I just turned 20, and we're asked to do a lot. So um, you just got to grow up fast and, you know, step up to the plate. Through 20 games, what's been the adjustment? How's it been like for you trying to find, you know, when you can look for your shot more versus what comes more naturally to you, which is facilitating finding guys? Um, I'm still working on that. But for me, I think I just got to go out there and just play with a free mind. I feel I play best when I'm just, you know, having fun, going out there and doing what I love to do. So. Did you feel like that last night? Last night, yeah. I just went out there and, you know, competed. Just let the chips fall where they may. Luke is kind of a positive guy that, that really stays on message and point. He sees big picture. Does that does that work for you? Do, do you like that kind of coach, that, that, that kind of positive look? Uh, Luke's a great coach. You know, um, he definitely... <laughs> 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 he definitely, he's positive all the time. You know, every, obviously we all want to win now, but we know it's a process and um, we just have to keep getting better every time. What have you seen from Larry's two games back? I know he didn't get any points last night, but four steals, five assists, those types of things. 
Yeah, yeah, Larry doesn't have to score to affect the game. You know, he does so many other things. Um, defensively, you know, rebounding and brings energy, toughness to our team, and um, he's vocal as well. So he ain't got to score to, you know, affect the game. You were saying the one game you threw out was that Philly game. Were there any that you looked at and thought, okay, it's probably the most complete game I've played. I can take the most away from this game. Um, I thought I played well in Milwaukee, uh, well versus Detroit. Um, obviously, you know, Phoenix the first time. So um, there was a few good games I had this year.